Good tosh, Ani Apchugig, Shannon Reyna. Hello, my name is Shannon Reyna and welcome to Chef in the Garden. I work at Salt River Schools on, located on the Salt River Pima Maricopa Indian Community and I'm the food service manager. I enjoy being the food service manager for Salt River Schools because I'm able to take care and feed the children of my community. Today we're going to make poshol, which is a traditional dish from the Autumn people, which contains swambav, the te brown tepary bean, oras pecan, which is the wheat berry, and roasted hun, which is roasted corn. Our first step is to sort and clean your beans. So what you wanna do is just take, take a little out at a time, sort through it, and make sure you don't see any bad ones. And then you put your clean beans into a clean bowl and rinse it with some water. And that's just to get any dust or anything that you don't want in there. Now I'm draining all the water off the beans that we just cleaned, just to get the, any dust or particles off of them so you have a clean bean to cook with. Once your beans are cleaned and rinsed, you add them into the pot. Once you have your beans in the pot, you add two tablespoons of the oras pecan, which is the pima wheat berry. And it's a really fun word to say, it's oras pecan. Oras pecan is a wheat berry, and when you boil it, it kind of expands and it turns it into a little crunchy bite. It's also high in carbohydrates, which is good. The Autumn people were very athletic, so we used to eat a lot, a lot of high carbohydrate foods, and this was help, would help get us through the day. And now Mr. Pickles is gonna show you how to plant Oras Pirgan, Pima wheat berry. Thanks, Chef Shannon. Hi, everybody. Today, we're going to talk about uh, planting wheat. So. Every day you're eating some kind of wheat normally. You're eating bread, or you've got cookies, or you've got cake. A lot of this stuff is coming from wheat. It is from the grass family, so keep that in mind as well. You know at home, your parents are probably cooking with some flour, or there's some flour in the pantry. Mostly it comes in containers that are gonna look like this. And when you see flour that your parents may have, it's going to look white or it's going to have some darkness to it. This is called whole wheat. This is white and normally they'll talk about it being unbleached. But all of this is coming from this. This is what a wheat stalk looks like. And if I take this out, this little piece here, break it off and sort of roll this a little bit. And I'm gonna blow off the, um, they call it the shaft. You can see those little uh, seeds in there. They're really just seeds, but it's, uh, they call them wheat berries too. That is what comes off of this, and that's what this is. This is wheat berries. That's basically seeds. So the seed is what gets milled up into this that makes all of these other things. Basically, that's what happens here. So what I want to do is show you what this, this thing does. This is a mill. These things are there because there's some stones in here um, that are moving around and they're going to grind up this wheat berry to get into this. So I wanted to show you kind of how that looks or what that looks like. So let's take a look at this right now. People who mill this are millers. Remember that I am Mr. Pickle, all right? But now I'm gonna be a miller. So, um, and I'm not gonna be Mr. Miller because I, my last name is Pickle, not, not Mr. Miller. But the job I'm gonna have is a miller. So that's, that's this, a miller. I'm gonna be a miller right now. And then a little later on, I'm gonna come back and be Mr. Pickle again, okay? So just stay with me. I know this gets confusing. All right, we're all set. We've got the... Um, uh, wheat berries inside here, so we're going to turn this on and see what happens. All right, hold on, hold your breath. Here we go. Oh, yeah. That's it. So that's whole wheat. That's, that's the whole thing. Now, um, 
So in the days when these uh, millers used to do this, they could adjust the, how much it's, it's getting uh, uh, milled, whether it's a hard grain or a smooth grain or whatever it is, they could do this. And they used to use a rule of thumb, which was just, they would pick it up and then they could tell, oh, do I need to make it a little more grainy or a little softer? But that's what they call the rule of thumb, if you've ever heard of it. So, and, and the miller, he'd have to work really hard and it's a grindstone in there, so he had to have his nose to the grindstone uh, to get this done. So let's talk about getting this planted. But before we do that, remember, I am Mr. Pickle now. I'm gonna go back and get away from being a miller. So I'll see you in just a few seconds and we'll plant some of this. Now that you know what wheat is used for and where it comes from, let's talk about uh, planting it. It's a pretty simple way to plant this. We're going to just clear this soil a little bit, and I'm gonna use my hands. I've been learning how to leave leaves alone, and they're feeding the soil a little bit with all the microorganisms, so that's why you're seeing all these leaves in here right now. But I'm gonna clear this out, and then I think in my instructions I gave you, the seeds don't get planted very deep at all. Don't put it more than a half an inch. And my suggestion was if you've got a lot of space to put them about every two inches apart. So, and I don't have a ruler. Uh, that's sort of my rule of thumb, but we're, we're just gonna put a little bit right here, maybe here, maybe here, here. And imagine when this stuff starts growing, we're gonna see these stalks like this are gonna be popping out of here and it's gonna really look very cool. So we've got some holes dug. They're not very deep at all, if you can see this. So we'll put one, you can put two in there if you want, but if you've got a lot of seeds, they're gonna crowd each other a little bit, but it's really not a big deal. If you wanna put two in, I'd suggest, you know, put another one here, or put another one here. Just imagine you're gonna have all this stuff just kind of filling in here. So it's not very hard. This stuff's gonna come up. If you keep it wet, I'm guessing it'll be coming up within two weeks, it'll be popping up and then you're gonna leave it in here. It's gonna to grow to this height, probably in May sometime. You can quit watering it. It's gonna be green like a grass, and then it's gonna dry up like this. So we wanna use it when it's dry. But that's basically all you're gonna to have to do. So I didn't plant it very deep, if you saw. I'm gonna cover this up. And in this garden, I'm gonna just put a little bit of these leaves on here, just kinda of to cover a little bit, keep it moist. The other thing is it keeps the birds away from taking up the uh, seeds if they're, if they're about to come and get them. They may not see them or sort of hide them from the other critters that are here. And that's it. So we've got the wheat planted and um, you're ready to go at this point. You just watch it come up. It'll be beautiful when it grows. And now back to you, Chef Shannon. Thanks, Mr. Pickle. The autumn people use the wheat berries as a source of carbohydrates. Uh, my family, the first way I knew to eat Otis pecan was as a cereal. We, my, we would cook it and eat it with either, um, usually we use honey or milk and eat it like an oatmeal. And then we'll add roasted hun, which is roasted corn, two tablespoons also. And then cover your beans with water just about a little, just about an inch over your beans. And then you let that boil for at least six to eight hours, longer if you can. And it makes a really delicious creamy soup. The beans get soft, the wheat berries expand and they turn into little crunchy bites. And it's, the texture is really wonderful in the beans. It adds a lot to the soup. And then the roasted corn adds flavor and it's very delicious. And once your pochol is done, you just serve it in a bowl and today I made some skof chamat, which is lazy bread and you just break a piece off and we would usually eat it with just a simple piece of bread. It's a very simple hearty meal. I hope you enjoy making pochol. I'm very happy to share this recipe with you that was given to me by my mom, this traditional dish from the Autumn people. Daihugai. Thank you.